up with Jesse. Jen, you know, I was going home from work the other day and I went by a construction site. They were building a home and there were so many pallets and stuff that had been shipped. I don't know if there were windows being delivered or yeah. something. And they were laying there ready to be disposed of and tossed out. You see this kind of stuff all the time, whether they're on the side of the road or construction construction site. Um, and you're here to tell us that you've great way to repurpose these. Yeah, no, pallets are a great way to take really cheap wood that mm -hmm. usually, like you said, is on the side of the road and repurpose it in something else. And actually growing up, my parents had a print factory for 46 years. Mm -hmm. And so we had a ton of pallets and we had paper stacked on them for the printing process. We did large format printing. So last year when we actually closed down the shop, we saved all the pallets. And my mom last week said, oh, can you make me a side table? And I was like, absolutely not, but I will make you a tray. <laughs> that's so my lovely trays, daughter, right? lovely daughter. I said later. Yeah, the side okay. Table will come yeah, later. We'll so yeah, we're so that's use where them. this um, uh, thing started with. It right? did, right? And All right. This, um, this is the wood. Okay. All right. We can use, but we don't have to use pallets. No, you can use other kinds of wood. Pallets a great way to get free wood because there's yeah. pallets everywhere. But um, you can use any kind of wood uh, that you find. You can get them cut to size at any hardware store. These planks are five and a half inches wide, mm -hmm. and I chose 24 inch as my tray. You could make it to size depending on the size wood that you have and then you're going to need some stain to stain okay. wood a drill and some screws and then some wood glue little glue do okay. you need that do you need the gold hammer there is the gold it, hammer is really just for just aesthetic, a regular hammer but oh i feel cool having it okay it's yeah. per is it real gold <laughs> it is it's real gold dave made it for me <laughs> how do we get started <laughs> so i started this earlier and we have a little tape of me starting to stain the wood so I came in extra early, and I stained all the wood pieces. These were already cut to size. Now is that store stain? Because I don't want to see it out of a bottle. Um, or you know, the, that stain is actually from the craft store. I like That's it because right. it's you... not pungent and yeah. it's um, very easy to use. You shared that with mm -hmm. us, I think, on another project. Let it dry, and then I evenly spaced everything out. And I left a little gap in between the wood, so it looks more like a palette. And then I just used wood glue to add the size on, just like that. And then that is just used to hold down the wood mm -hmm. so it attaches. Did the same to the other side. How simple is that? You're literally gluing wood together. And yeah. then I put it right there and let that dry. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want, because you talked about the smell of stain, somebody right. doesn't have one of these awesome craft stores nearby, could you use paint? Could you use you some other? You could use paint. So the gray one right here was actually painted with gray chalkboard paint, and then I put a really cool oh. white stain over it to wash it out. But these could absolutely be painted because it's just wood, so it's not going to chip. This would be cool so. sitting outside, too, and just get weathered a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, after this, where do All we right. go? All right, so this is dry. It only takes a couple hours okay. to dry. Oh, look at and you, strong. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is flip over the wood and what we did was I just screwed in a screw in each plank to make sure it was extra secure. I don't want to rely just on the glue. So if okay. you want to add the third one, so it's six screws. Would right. you would you recommend putting any sort of felt back on that? Like if you set it on Yeah, I mean if this is gonna go on a coffee table, then maybe yes, do put some, some felt on it, on it, those little feet you know mm -hmm. you can get. And then from here we're just gonna add the hardware. And what this is, these are actually uh, door handles or, you know, like to a gate or something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So they're really inexpensive. You can get a pair for $4.95 at any home improvement any, store. Yeah. And you could even use like antique drawers, you know, whatever you had. I like and these again, that you have. I'm sorry to step in uh -huh. on it. I like this one too. And I noticed that you picked, they all have sort of an angle all, to them. Right. Just it's to better to serve, right? No, that's serve, what makes right? it so cool. You could even do different handles. Mm -hmm. And no, that was literally, that was four fifty for the two of them. It's very, so very rustic looking. I like it. All right. So again, do I get to work here on this? is just oh. screwed in twice. I put a little hole there so you knew where to go. Oh, I'm on it. Did you I'm see it? I'm on it, yep. That's right. That's a few things I can cool see anymore can go, without like my glasses. like we said, on your coffee table. Um, you can use like breakfast in bed. Look at that. Why, why won't mine go in? It won't go in? No. You want some help? Yeah, you can get it. Yeah. You, can, you want me to come yeah. over there? Okay. Let me get it. So um, pretend that one went in. All right, so um, by the way, you could, you could do different ones. Um, if you wanted to have just sort of that mix of, you know, yeah, you one rustic, the, the one. planks, all different colors. I mean, you could Mod Podge fabric to this on the top. I mean, you could add glitter. No, we can't do glitter. Yes, absolutely. Like you can get crazy. The material you choose, by the way, uh, can set the tone for this, and you can use fine or smooth wood, as Jesse said. It's uh -huh. a lot of fun. All the steps on Pinterest.com forward slash home and family. I'm trying to get this right in that little space there. Or lilyshop.com, obviously a great place to go check out stuff. And uh, ours is Pinterest.com forward slash home and family TV. You should see there at the bottom of the screen. All right, look at that. Now I have to go get something served on that.